This is three things you need to know and one you don't. I'm Eric Parker. The man charged in the disappearance of Jennifer Dulos is expected to be in Norwalk Superior Court today. Her estranged husband, Fotis Dulos, faces new evidence tampering charges. His girlfriend, Michelle Chaconis, is also facing a similar charge. Stick with Channel 3 all day for the latest. The northbound side of I-91 in Middletown was closed overnight after a person working for the DOT was struck. We're told 27-year-old Dylan Peterson of Vernon had serious injuries. State police say one of the cars involved in that crash fled the scene. And Stanford-based Purdue Pharma has reached a tentative settlement on lawsuits claiming it was partly responsible for a nationwide opioid crisis. Lawyers from 2,000 local governments and more than 20 states have agreed to the deal, but some states are planning to keep fighting. And they say you should learn something new every day. Well... Today was the day we learned that Scott Haney is a corn eating champ. I won the Kingston corn eating contest when I was in the eighth grade. Really? Just want to let everybody know. <laughs> yes. And they gave me five free admission tickets to the fair, and I said, We're leaving today. So they, instead of giving me five uh, free admission tickets, they gave me $5 in cash. And to an eighth grader, $5 wow. in cash. In 1908, that's a lot it's of money. 1907. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How much corn did you eat? Oh, my God. <laughs> Five years. I, I don't even know. It was like the most amount of corn in like 60, like. Like corn on the cob? Corn on the cob. Yeah, it was like. I think we should bring that back. You should do that on Better Connecticut. I think I, I, I could totally nail that contest. <laughs> I'm a good corn eater. And there is a kernel of truth to all of this. And you're really corny, too. So it Thank all, you. you know. Appreciate that. That's three things you need to know and one you don't. I'm Eric Parker, and I'll see you on TV.